The previous, you have to realize, it's done its job, it did a great job. We had very few problems with it, but it was, it was time. Siberia is a staple chairlift for us, and it needs to be reliable, uh, and it needs to get people from the bottom to the top of the mountain. It's just time for it to be updated, and I'm happy that they made the investment and they're going for it. The new chair is 100% totally brand new from towers to chairs. The entire chair was removed, the entire chair was recycled, and different parts are being used at different places. The drive is actually much smaller, more economical, faster, and is just state-of-the-art here in 2015. KT steals all the glory for sure, and uh, Siberia, if you really think about it, is on par with KT. It just uh, doesn't get quite as much glory as KT does. The Palisades is kind of the birthplace of extreme skiing. If you go back to like Scott Schmidt and those guys pushing the envelope. Ever since Scott Schmidt had that amazing Palisades session for Warren Miller's ski time, I believe it was, that just put it on the map. And when people think of Squaw Valley, they think of those massive Palisades cliffs. You know, there's so many legendary things that have gone down, but there's also a great venue to watch it all go down. So you can be on the chairlift, or you can be at the top on the ridge, or you can be down at the bottom, and you can watch some of the best skiers in the world do some of the craziest lines ever done. I think it's a chairlift that accesses all kinds of terrain for everybody. I have so many memories just growing up skiing on Siberia. That's pretty much where we would train on a daily basis growing up. There's a lot of amazing racers that come from Squaw, and that's the main reason, because in the past, we would have downhill and Subaru training, which is really rare in the U.S., and Moss was like a perfect venue for that, because it's safe, wide open. Siberia is an awesome run because you get to the top and there's really something for everybody. I love just that wide groomer because First run of the morning, perfect corduroy. You can really kind of open it up. It's got a perfect transition out into the flats. Having an Olympic downhill on that mountain, on that run, is pretty amazing. So it's a really historic place for skiing. They actually started the downhill off the very top of the Palisades, and then they came down around that big rock and then into Siberia Bowl. Back then, 1960 Winter Olympics, they just went straight, launching off these rollers. Crazy, if you watch the footage from back then, it's pretty epic. Siberia is great for any type of skier. I mean, you can get to the top and just look out over this amazing view and then ski down a green run right over to Gold Coast. Or you can be one of the best skiers on the planet and hike up to Palisades and ski the most challenging line of your life. It's a great run and really uh, it's one of our go-tos.